What's up, people? Dr. Wolves is right here, and welcome to a special little video. It's time to show you, a time to do a show and tell. Now, first off, before I start, I want to tell you right now my video game and my movie soundtrack collection on vinyl and CD is so big, I couldn't show you really all of it. I pretty much scoured everywhere I could find of all the stuff that I got at the moment. Some of the stuff is not here because some of it is in, as I show you pictures of it now of um, in different special editions, so it's like um, Too Dark, Steins Gate, some of the Wii U stuff, some of the Nintendo Wii stuff, um, some special collector's editions, some Final Fantasy, some Kingdom Hearts, some Yakuza's and all that lot. They're all locked away in this particular little spot and to be honest I don't want to go ahead and try and open up every single box because number one it'll be a massive mess and number two I might lose something and number three it's a lot, a lot of hassle to make it into one small video. It's not going to be a small video. It's probably about like half an hour long, maybe. But literally, though, you guys can see what I've got, though. You've got yourself a load of Final Fantasy stuff. I've got some Yakuza soundtracks. I've got some PS4 soundtracks like Senran Kagura. You've got yourself some Legend of Zelda soundtracks, some WWE soundtracks, Xenoblade Chronicles. You get the gist of it. But mainly for the movie ones, that I've pretty much got them all here, if you guys want to know. And I've got the video game ones that I can find at the moment right here. So, just to let you guys know, it's not everything, but it's pretty much 80% of it. So, yeah. The rest of it is like more collectible stuff that's um, locked away in their special collectors. So anyhow, let's get this down and dirty. Let's get this started with the movies, shall we? The movies are right here. I'm just going to go and move them to the left side here so you guys don't need to pray about on any fall. First off, I'm going to show you the CD collection I've got here. This is literally, this is the amount of CDs I've got at the moment. Um, it's not really big at the moment. It's been many records nowadays because records are a lot, lot more beautiful than CDs. But I have been trying to get my CD collection back to where it used to be. But anyhow, let's get this started. I'm not going to talk a lot about them really quick. I'm just going to show you what they are and I'm going to move on. We have ourselves Disney's Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, which is a beautiful CD. I love that a lot. Um, one, another one of my childhood favourite movies, Small Soldiers. Very entertaining, super fun. Uh, the C, the soundtracks um, could have been a lot, lot better, just to let you guys know. Could have been a lot better. You have Michael Jackson's This Is It. A lot of people may be thinking this is not a soundtrack for a movie. Yes, it is, because uh, it was originally going to be a for theatre, you know, for his live show. But as you guys know, he died, so it turned into a, a DVD and then a motion picture soundtrack. We have DreamWorks Trolls. like that film. It's a lot, a lot of fun. I enjoy it. It's great, great music. We have um, Joseph and the Amazing Technical uh, Dreamcoat is an awesome play if you haven't seen it it's beautiful it's a very good uh, play good music we have one of my favorite Whoopi Goldberg films Sister Act awesome film super happy that they're making a third one we have ourselves William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet which has um, the legend himself Leonardo DiCaprio we have ourselves as you guys know from the top 10 we have ourselves our two Titanics beautiful soundtracks right there we have ourselves the Blues Brothers. We have ourselves Ultimate Dirty Dancing, which I think is the best uh, Dirty Dancing um, soundtrack I've got. We have the amazing Chicago. Beautiful. We have ourselves both the sequels, Mamma Mia 1 and Mamma Mia 2. Here we, come, here we go again. Great soundtracks. And of course, we have ourselves Grease. So that's all the CDs of the movie soundtracks. Now here's the um, the records. There's a lot of records. So let's get these let's get these through now. So we have ourselves Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet. Very old, very retro. If you guys like your Thunderbirds, we have ourselves Stay Awake, the music from the vintage. Disney films. So there's a lot of few Disney films in this. Quite cool. I enjoy it. It's quite relaxing. Not a lot of people know about that record. We have ourselves the greatest hits of Walt Disney. Now I'll let you guys know as well though, there is a few records that are movies and everything that are not here at the moment because they are in another another place. 
meaning they're not in the house. They're actually in um, uh, one of my other houses, like one of my parents' houses. We have we have two houses, just like you guys know. We have ourselves Walt Disney, The Rescuers, a great film. Great soundtrack. We have ourselves The Jungle Book. Like, like you guys know, I love Disney. And like I said, if I did put Disney in the top 10, everything would be Disney. We have Dumbo, the classical. Classical Dumbo, love it. We have ourselves uh, two different versions of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. One that actually is... Um, the Disney one, and this one is just a weird adaptation of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which is not the absolute best. But uh, the other one is the top-notch real one. We have ourselves the story of Sleeping Beauty, which is the storytelling of Sleeping Beauty, but also has some music as well. And then we have all four volumes of the original soundtrack collection of Walt Disney, all four of them which is beautiful, love it. We have ourselves some TV favourites, as you guys know, that could be Rupert the Bear, The Pink Panther, Doctor Who, and The Magical Roundabout, classics, I enjoy them, quite fun, nice kid, nice kid friendly stuff. Uh, Spin the Magic Tunes, once again, some more Rupert the Bear stuff, we have ourselves Scooby-Doo, um, um, Sylvester and Tweety, um, Dastly and Mudley, Noddy, all them lot, and Scooby Doo. Some classics there too. Some enjoyable soundtracks there. Now it's time for the proper movie stuff. So we have ourselves here The Lost Boys. Fantastic film. Definitely would encourage you guys to watch it. It's a good film to watch during Halloween. Another one good for Halloween the classical Ghostbusters. This is a single which has the only one song only, which is Ghostbusters! We have a very collectible one here. This is the 30th anniversary um, record store day 2021 with a yellow green vinyl, Aliens. Quite rare, quite expensive. Definitely happy that I have purchased it. There was not a lot of them out there. So I was quite happy to have that one in my collection. We have ourselves another single record, which is Unchained Melody from the movie Ghost with Patrick Swayze and Whoopi Goldberg. A beautiful song, a beautiful record. It's only a single, it only has like two songs. This one again, this one is the Record Store Day 2021 Vinyl Debut 20th Anniversary First Ever Press in Golden Triangle Vinyl, limited to 2,500 copies. Tomb Raiders, Lara Croft. Yeah, only 2,500 of these are made. So these are highly rare and highly collectible. So quite happy that I've got one of them. And does it tell me a number? It doesn't tell me a number unless I open it, so that's why I'm not opening it. Yeah, I haven't listened to it. I only listen to it on Spotify because I don't want to open it. We have ourselves The King and I. Fantastic play, fantastic movie. Love the musical. It's a beautiful film. Uh, Sound of Music. Love the music. Don't like the film. <laughs> I'm sorry for the people who love the Sound of Music. I'm not a big massive fan of the film, but I do love the music. Uh, Chi Chi Bang Bang, great music, great film, sadly this is not the proper one, this is a play version, not as very good, but still happy to have it. For some weird reason the original soundtrack of Chi Chi Bang Bang is not really out there on record for some weird reason. We have ourselves Monty Python's Life of Brian, super super funny, a great film, funny on record when you don't want to watch it, when you're too busy doing stuff. We have one of my personal favourite films that was bought by Disney, which is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So freaking good. Great film, fantastic music, happy to have this. Definitely would encourage you guys to watch it if you haven't seen it yet. You should guys do because it has one of the most uh, biggest ladies of all animated shows, which is Jessica Rabbit. We have ourselves Beverly Hill Cops with Eddie Murphy. Great record. Some great music on there. And then we have ourselves, of course, The Full Monty. I've told to you guys about that. This is the originator of Magic Mike. We have ourselves uh, The Goonies. Great record. Love it. It's a great film. We have my number one favourite movie soundtrack, The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Love it. It's a great film. Definitely encourage you guys to watch it. Like I said, a lot of these films I definitely encourage you guys to watch or to listen to the soundtrack. We have ourselves Grease, classic. 
trying to be careful these guys don't slide off now. We have ourselves Oliver Twist, one of my childhood favourites. We have ourselves the last thing left out of the movie collection. We have ourselves Dirty Dancing and more Dirty Dancing. So that's all the music ones that I got that I have found all over the house. There, like I said, there is a few of them that are somewhere else because I know I have way more than that. Because I do have ones that are from other Disney films like uh, Cinderella, um, Peter, Peter and the Wolf, um, Pete's Dragon. We have a cell. I have a record of Shrek and Shrek 2 and a few others. There is quite a lot of other cartoon ones that I actually have got on record and also on CD, but I can't find them for some weird reason. But now it's time for the game ones. So let me go and show you the game ones, okay? This is the small portion of CDs I've got. There is way more out there, like I've showed you. There's Persona 4 I've got on CD. I've got Yakuza 3 on CD. There's a soundtrack of Yakuza 6. I have myself CDs from the Final Fantasy movies, you know, The Spirits Within and um, um, The Spirits Within. I've got Final Fantasy 13 and 13 2 on CD, Final Fantasy 14, The Crystal Chronicles and The Reflections. And also there is a lot more other CDs that are in my PS4 collection and on the Nintendo stuff and plus Xbox. But these are the ones I can find at the moment that were not in boxes because I bought these um, from places like um, Saw Fun, give them a follow if you guys can, and um, other from other gaming conventions, and also I got these as well um, from um, pre-ordering games when they first came out. So it was like a bonus thing. So let's go through them. We have ourselves White Day, great horror horror game if you guys haven't played it. Nintendo's own Super Smash Bros. The 3DS and the Wii U version, beautiful. This is the 10th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. This is Dream Drop Distance soundtrack. Beautiful ever. Came all the way from Japan. It's a fantastic, record, fantastic CD. We have ourselves Kingdom Hearts, the original soundtrack, Birth by Sleep, and 358 slash 2 days. Awesome, and also recoded. And then we have ourselves the concert of Final Fantasy. I mean, concert of Kingdom Hearts. My apologies. So there's that one there. So that's all the CDs I can find at the moment because, like I said, there is a lot more CDs out in this in this room because there's so many of them. It's just that I can't grab them all because it'll make a massive mess. But now let's go into the records of video games. Okay. So the first one, Ghost of Tsushima. Fantastic game, fantastic soundtrack. Definitely worth buying from this. And if you want to know where you can buy these records and CDs, there's a place called Mondo to check them out. There's a place called Wax and Beans. Definitely follow them on Facebook. They're absolutely amazing. Shout out to you guys. Um, you may be lucky, you might find some of them in Soul Thumb, including the CDs. Massive shout out to Soul Thumb as well. And um, there is, like I said, you can try Amazon and eBay, but like I said, they will run you up stupid money because it is eBay and Amazon. So, there's that. We have ourselves Red Dead Redemption 2, fantastic game, fantastic soundtrack. I've already said some stuff about that. Same thing with this one, Silent Hill, scary game, scary soundtrack, amazing opening track of the whole thing. And you might be thinking, $41.99 for Maximum Minus, that's quite expensive, isn't it? That's actually quite cheap. You can actually get that a lot, lot more money um, in other websites. This is a compilation, the greatest video game music from different orchestras. This is Ace. Wish I could find more of these, but they're very hard to find. These are like different types of soundtracks from all different types of video games, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Angry Birds, Final Fantasy VIII, Super, Sma uh, Super Mario Bros., Uncharted, Grand Theft Auto 4, Metal Gear Solid, Tetris, Super Mario Galaxy, Fallout 3, Halo 3, Bioshock, Final Fantasy's main theme, Mass Effect, Splinter Cell, Elder Scroll, Battlefield 2, Legend of Zelda, the list goes on. There's lots of songs in this and it's absolutely amazing. Definitely encourage you guys to try and back pick that up if you guys have a record or a CD. You have this weird guy hey, with a glued moustache on him and this is the um, Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle that came out, if I remember, on the Wii U or the Nintendo Switch. Did not like the game. The music's alright. 
I bought this in HMV when it was on dirty, dirty off. I got it for like 20 quid instead of being 50. I had to pick it up. It's not bad. Do I regret buying it? No. Um, do I like it? Uh, semi, yeah. Mid semi, no. We have ourselves Guilty Gear XRD. The um, Sound Live 2014 Archives. Fantastic soundtrack. The game could be better, but the music's fantastic. Right, we have one game here that a, lot, that a lot of people think I would never buy, but once again, thank you Wax and Beans for getting this for me. We have Shenmue 2, all the way from Japan, and uh, yeah, um, you guys already know how much I hated um, the remake of Shenmue 1 and 2, but I can't go ahead and hit it that way because I actually enjoyed the, three, the, the um, Dreamcast version, but the music though is really beautiful and kick-ass, I like it. And now we have ourselves Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Beautiful as anything. Love it. We have ourselves another one from uh, Wax and Beans. Uh, Castlevania Dracula's Curse. Uh, once again, $35.99. That's cheap for this record. Very, very cheap. Um, you can get these quite expensive on other websites, but Wax and Beans is the best place to get them from if they still have them. But yeah, thanks to Wax and Beans. This is a beautiful record. I love it. Um, one of my, my personal favourite Castlevania game and an absolute amazing soundtrack. And this one is a smaller version. This is Castlevania 2, um, Simon's Quest. One of my favourite NES ones, definitely, but personally my favourite soundtrack of all time from the Castlevania series because I love Very Bloody Tears. It's a great tune. So there's that. We have ourselves here Kingdom Hearts 3 which is the main singer, Hikaru Utada, Face My Fears. This is pretty much an LP, like, you know, LP single press disc, which has only five songs, which is Face My Fears, with Skrillex, and Don't Think Twice. And once again, the same again on the side B. So it's just two songs, but still though, love it. Highly expensive, if you guys want to know. I got that especially from Japan and it was highly expensive, and it's still expensive to this very day. For only two songs, it's insane. I know. We have ourselves Final Fantasy XIII, the music from, which has a lot of great music on it. It only has like eight songs in the record, but once again, I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Great game, great music. Hate me if you want me, but I love Final Fantasy XIII. We have ourselves a picture disc record of Final Fantasy VIII looks fantastic the music's ace the game i thought i didn't like but now i played the remaster version i quite like it now i'm very happy with it but the picture disc is absolutely beautiful and then you have myself one of my favorite final fantasy soundtracks that i've got on record final fantasy 7 remake and the original it's two of them all in one box absolutely beautiful and definitely a very rare piece to own so Definitely try and pick that up. Then you have yourself Final Fantasy 3. Beautiful. Don't like the game, but I love the music. And then you have the big guns. You have yourself Resident Evil 6. Okay game, love the music. Yeah, my favourite Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4. Fantastic game, love the music. You have Resident Evil Code Veronica X. My favourite soundtrack, Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 1. And of course, Resident Evil Zero. Now, like I said, I am missing a few Resident Evils because they haven't come out yet. But pretty much that is all I've really got at the moment, people. Like I said, there is a lot of them out there in this in this room and a lot more outside the building because they're all scattered all over the place. But that is my whole collection of my records and my CDs. Sadly, no tapes from movies or um, video games because they're hard to come by. But anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below, hit the bell icon to get yourself no camera we're uploading and live streaming. And I hope you enjoyed my collection show and tell. The people I'm sleeping, I'll see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. 
Cheerio! One more thing, people, before we say goodbye with all, for this little collection. I actually went ahead and found a little extra few more. These were all more of the movies and everything, so I'm going to show you these really, really quick before we do say goodbye. We have ourselves uh, Ali G in the house, a very funny comedy from Britain. Super, super hilarious. I definitely encourage you guys to try and watch that if you can. We have a very odd one a lot of people have not heard of, The Boat That Rocked. Pretty much about um, pirates and um, radio stations in the United Kingdom. It's quite weird, it depends if you like it or not. You have Whitney Houston's classic movie, The Bodyguard. Upsetting, beautiful movie, beautiful music, love it to death. You have yourself Matrix Reloaded. What You can't say anything else about that, it's a great movie, I like Matrix Reloaded. Um, one of my favourite Matrixes. Am I looking forward to the new Matrix? Sadly not, I'm not really interested in it. Um, funny enough, I actually had a second copy of the Blues Brothers. You can tell I actually did like the Blues Brothers for a long, long time. We have a cell, sadly not a cover with it, but this is the um, the best of James Bond 30th anniversary collection. So it has all the songs for 30 years of James Bond, like Goldfinger, Octopussy, and uh, all the rest of them, like um, Nobody Does It Better, and um, well, is it 007? There's loads of different ones in there, and Thunderball from Tom Jones. There's some great ones in there. Uh, Fair enough, I have another one here which is James Bond and it's the best of James Bond 50 years. So this is actually a newer improved one which has a lot of them, literally 50 years of James Bond, all 50 movies from the very beginning to around about now. So that's awesome. I would encourage you to listen to this one more than anything. And the last one, I was actually surprised I actually owned this somewhere and this is Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. I do like the film, I prefer Phantom Menace, even though a lot of people hate the Phantom Menace one. But this is actually really good and it's actually a good soundtrack too. I really enjoy it. So that's the last lot of the CDs that I actually could find around the house and everything. Like I said, there is more out there in this building, in my home, and there might be some more in the other house. But like I said, I'll have to spend a lot, a lot of hours looking for them all. But really, that's my collection of all my soundtracks for my mu music and my video gaming. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!